So this is the Hobby King Bush Mule build part two. And FG Dude mentioned that this servo over here actually had the arm pointing down when it should probably be pointing up for the best linear linkage. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. So this is Dave from Retired Time Productions. And thanks to FG Dude, I'm going to take this arm and switch it around so it's pointing up. That way the rod that goes across here will be pretty much horizontal and it should work better. So I just removed the screw and then put the servo arm pointing up and put the screw back in. And I'm going to have to reverse a channel on the radio too so that it goes in the right direction. So now back to the GPS. I decide to go ahead and mount it right here. I know it seems like a strange place but bear with me. What I've done was I cut out a little socket right here for it to go in. Just used an X-Acto blade and a screwdriver, carved it out. Now I've taken the wires that come out the bottom of this and fed them through a hole that I made right here so they just go straight down through there. Just grab them under here. Okay, so now that'll just sit right down in there, like that. Okay, then on the wing section, I made a little indent right here in this section here to accommodate the top of the GPS and so now that's just going to go and sit down on here as you can see like that peg it in there and screw it down and now the GPS is under here now I know some people might say it won't pick up the satellites but I have the same sort of setup on the Skywalker where the GPS is under the wing and it works fine and it keeps the GPS protected so I'm hoping it'll work out in this case as well next I soldered my 5 volt UBEC to the output of the power module for the APM and also added a tap in case I want to add some other accessories like lights so here is the two connections for the ground here soldered on and then the two connections for the voltage is over here this is a ready-made RC 5 amp or excuse me it's 5 amp to 7.5 amp 5 volt or 6 volt regulator selectable by this jumper and that is going to feed the output bus on the APM to power the servos so now let's take a look at what I've got laid out now. Where did I put that power module? So I put the power module right up here along the side, right side in the front, and this is where it's going to connect onto the cable from the wing, the mid section of the wing. This is the UBEC module right here that feeds the bus on the APM, and then I've got the Easy UHF. And the Minim OSD is on this side over here up in the front I'll show you that so the minimum OSD is right down in there you can see right there along the left wall so minimum OSD on the left and power module on the right and this is what it looks like from the top okay radio is on I'm gonna move the throttle stick up I'm gonna try to do the quick calibration turning on the power ends up just beeping like this forever. I don't know what is going on with that. Okay, I think I found the problem. I didn't have the ESCs plugged into the output of the power module. So the ESCs must have been getting power through the 5 volt BEC wires. But that's really strange they even worked at all without this power going to them. But I got it plugged in now. So here's the throttle cable for the two ESCs, and if I'd done this ahead of time, I wouldn't have been fooled by the ESC power not being plugged into the power module. In fact, the ESCs actually stopped beeping after I did this mod, and then I was able to find where I hadn't plugged in the power to the power module. So I'm doing this mod because I'm actually powering the output bus of the APM with a UBEC so that I don't need the 5 volts from the ESCs at all. 
So what I've done is cut the 5 volt wire on each of these Y leads. But I'm going to go ahead and put some heat shrink over these anyway to cover where the gap is. Now to get these Y cables apart, what you do is slip an X-Acto blade right up underneath where these two grooves are. And once you get it in there, it lifts the catch that holds this together and then you can just pull these right out. Next, you take a needle and just lift the tabs that hold the pins in and pull them out. Now you can just slip the heat shrink over here. I recommend just doing one side at a time. Do these three first so that you have the other one to see how they go back in the connector. Once the heat shrink is done, just hold the connector with the silver tabs up and then hold this with the lines up see one side doesn't have the lines and then put the two together just push one into the other and now it's locked in there so now I'm going to reinstall the Y connector onto the throttle leads and connect it back to the APM throttle channel okay they both work now And they're going in opposite directions too. So looking at the APM schematic here, I have aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder, and I'm trying to use channel 5 for the flaps. And right now nothing is coming out of channel 5, even though I have input in on channel 5 from a switch on the radio, nothing's coming out. So I need to change something in the APM settings. So let's do that. I'm on the configuration and tuning tab right here in the full parameter tree and I'm on RC5 right here and what I think I need to do is change RC5 function to a 1 to pass it through so I'm going to go over here and change this to a 1 to get pass through let's do that and then I'm going to go over here and write the params okay that should do it and now I've got pass through let's try that okay that worked now the flap switch is functioning maybe a little aggressive but it is working okay just finishing up this video with a little prop balancing and as you can see these props are quite a bit out of balance at least this one is looks like it's gonna settle out let me see here I do that that's how it looks like it's gonna settle out just about like that so it looks like it needs some weight up here at the top I'll probably just take some if I can I'll just put some tape on it on the back side try to balance it but we'll see it looks like it's quite a bit out okay so we'll see you next time for more of the build video on the bush mule and Hopefully after that video we can get it in the air.